We think of dinosaurs as scary creatures, and that's not surprising. Pop culture has played a big role in this. But in reality, dinosaurs were even creepier than you think. Some ate their own kind. Others brutally crushed the bones of the most dangerous giant, and others made deafening shots with their bodies. I think you'll be interested to know more about it. In this episode, I'll tell you about the creepy and dark side of dinosaurs that will make your hair stand on end. Let's go! Cannibals Cannibalism is always creepy, no matter who we're talking about, and it's also in the world of dinosaurs. Despite the fact that dinosaurs lived on Earth for many tens of millions of years, scientists have only found a few confirmed cases of cannibalism among these ancient animals, but even this is frightening. A confirmed case of cannibalism has been recorded among the Majungasaurus genus. These lizards inhabited Madagascar about 70 million years ago and are called Tyrannosaurus of the Southern Hemisphere. Reaching up to 2 meters in height, 6 meters in length, and weighing 1 to 1 1.5 tons, they were the top predators in their range. Apparently, there wasn't enough food for everyone, so Majungasaurus had to eat their own relatives. When scientists discovered the bones of a Majungasaurus with large, jagged teeth marks, they concluded that they were the teeth marks of another Majungasaurus, because there was no other predator large enough to leave the same marks in the range. The King of Dinosaurs We're done with the southern Tyrannosaurus, but what about the common ones? I think no one will argue that Tyrannosaurus is the most famous dinosaur on the planet. Its easy-to-remember appearance, imposing size, and brutal temper may have made it a true star, but in fact, the way we're shown Tyrannosaurus in the movies is not always true. These monsters could have been much more dangerous and crueler. Tyrannosaurus wasn't the biggest dinosaur. It was 12 meters long, 3.5 meters tall, and weighed 8 to 9 tons. That's not much for a giant, right? But this North American monster's not-so-large size made up for other features. Tyrannosaurus was fast. Despite its not-small size, this lizard could accelerate up to 40 kilometers per hour, although for the most part, Tyrannosaurus ran at about 20 kilometers per hour speed. If the king of dinosaurs caught up with its prey, it set in motion its terrible teeth, which reached 30 centimeters in length. These are the biggest teeth of any carnivorous lizard in history. For comparison, the no less famous ancient megalodon shark had teeth up to 19 centimeters long. Tyrannosaurus' teeth were not very sharp. They were rather wide and slightly flattened. They were used to cope with prey that was fighting for life while already in the Tyrannosaurus' mouth. The set of teeth was terrifying. Different types of T-Rex teeth had different shapes and purposes. The front teeth were used to grab and drag their prey. The lateral teeth were used to tear flesh and the teeth in the back of the jaw were used to grind meat, which was then pushed down the throat. Tyrannosaurus ground their victims without difficulty, for the bite force of these monsters was monstrous. It was stronger than that of any creature alive today. All in all, Tyrannosaurus was an almost perfect predator. But you don't have to be a predator to be terrifying. Think of today's hippos or rhinos. As herbivores, they're no less dangerous than, for example, lions or wolves. It was the same in the world of dinosaurs. For example, Triceratops was an herbivore, but other dinosaurs certainly didn't want to mess with it. Nine meters long, four meters tall, and weighing six to twelve tons, who would want to mess with such a giant? A reckless Tyrannosaurus, perhaps? Well, there have been clashes between them because these creatures lived at the same time. Nevertheless, the formidable predator was often hunted by this herbivore. Evidence that Triceratops was able to withstand Tyrannosaurus is provided by the fossil remains of a Triceratops with traces of a healed wound from a Tyrannosaurus bite. Scientists believe that the found Triceratops was able to fight off the dominant predator, defeat it, and live long enough after the encounter for the bite wound to heal. How could a Triceratops defeat a T-Rex? With its horns, of course. Adult Triceratops horns were up to two meters long and curved upwards making them a powerful, lethal weapon. Incredible power Who else could Tyrannosaurus get their hands on? What about Ankylosaurus? You could say that they're some of the most violent and frightening ancient lizards. As herbivores, these armed dinosaurs often fell prey to large predators, including Tyrannosaurus. But over time, they managed to develop some defensive features. 
One of them was the bony armor plates that cover their bodies. In fact, Ankylosaurus were the most armored dinosaurs that were difficult to penetrate. But in case they themselves could punch hard, because their second quality, or rather a feature, was a fierce tail with a stick at the end. The tail of the Ankylosaurus consisted of tightly adjoining vertebrae, and it had a tail mace at the end. These monsters could hit with up to 720 megapascal of impact stress. That was enough to shatter the bones of a Tyrannosaurus. Deafening Shot While some dinosaurs ground the bones of their opponents, others used more interesting features. By others, I mean Apatosaurus, which lived about 150 million years ago. They were real giants, significantly larger than Ankylosaurus. Apatosaurus reached 22 meters in length, weighed 22 tons, and some even weighed up to 72 tons. This makes them one of the largest animals in the history of the Earth. In addition, they were one of the loudest animals. They were aided in this by their tail. No, it didn't have a kind of stick on it, as was the case in the Ankylosaurus. Apatosaurus used its tail as a whip. Scientists did computer calculations and concluded that Apatosaurus could whip its tail so fast that it broke the sound barrier, creating a supersonic pop. This created a deafening shot and a cannon-like rumble that could be heard several kilometers away. These lizards stomped their paws on the ground, and if they didn't crush their attackers, at least they used their tail and stomp to create a deafening and chaotic noise with the hope that it would frighten the predators. As a rule, it worked. That's the creepy and dark side of dinosaurs. As you can see, these ancient reptiles were even scarier and more dangerous than we thought. But there are other interesting things to tell about them. Why not do that? Stay tuned for even more interesting and unusual facts and theories about dinosaurs that will surprise and impress you. Discovery In fact, dinosaurs were not discovered until the middle of the 19th century. The term dinosaur was coined by Richard Owen in 1842. However, dinosaurs themselves were found long before that. It's believed that the first dinosaur skeleton was found on the territory of China about 3,000 years ago. Of course, at that time, no one had any idea about dinosaurs, so the Chinese have decided that these are the remains of the dragon. Very quickly, they found a use for the find. Local healers began to grind dinosaur bones into powder and prescribe it as a medicine for dizziness and cramps. The medicine was also put on the cuts, wounds, and fractures. Size Because of pop culture, we used to think that dinosaurs were all giants. Yes, quite a few reptiles were indeed huge. Many weighed tens of tons and were as big as today's high-rise buildings. But scientists believe that most dinosaurs were relatively small, the size of a pet or a human. Some were even tiny. For example, Compsognathus weighed a couple of kilograms and was no more than a meter long. Well, you long could even fit in the palm of a person's hand. Herbivores Again, because of pop culture, we're used to thinking that dinosaurs were almost entirely predators that regularly fought amongst themselves. Of course, there were many predators among these reptiles, but scientists believe that there were many times more herbivores. Similar to modern ecosystems in Africa and Asia, herbivorous heterosaurus, ornithopods, and to a lesser extent sauropods were probably grouped into huge herds that were hunted by the more rare carnivorous theropods. Extinction According to the main hypothesis, the dinosaurs went extinct about 66 million years ago after a huge asteroid hit. Many people believe that the asteroid killed the dinosaurs almost instantly, but this isn't true. Scientists believe that the extinction process took hundreds or even thousands of years. Global climate change, lack of sunlight, and lack of vegetation significantly altered the food chain. Some isolated populations of dinosaurs located in remote regions of the world may have lived a little longer than their congeners. And according to one theory, some dinosaurs have survived to this day. Who knows, maybe a couple of weakened ancient reptiles indeed still roam somewhere in places where no man is set foot. That's all, guys. Would you like scientists to resurrect some dinosaurs? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.